In the next few days, Pakistan is going to witness uh, another election. Unfortunately, this election, as it appears from the reports which we have been getting from all the sources, is already pre-rigged and it's already very controversial. It looks like very clearly from those reports we have been getting from all the sources that Pakistan's military establishment has decided to make a former playboy turn cricketer turn politician Mr. Imran Khan the next Prime Minister of Pakistan and they want his party PTI to get uh, as many seats in the parliament as possible. For this purpose they are not only uh, giving all the support to Imran Khan and his party, they are also at the same time marginalizing and suppressing his political rivals, especially Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz Sharif of the former Prime Minister Mr. Nawaz Sharif. As we all know, Mr. Nawaz Sharif himself has been sent to prison and every day we are getting reports that um, his the members of his party are either being intimidated to withdraw in favor of Imran Khan's party or switch side or face prison and um, other um, actions from the state. Um, and it could be an action from the NAB and, um, or the judiciary. And it is very unfortunate that Pakistan, the judiciary is playing a very, very shameful role by fully siding with Pakistan, the military establishment. Um, while Imran Khan is getting all the support, he's not the only one. Pakistan, the jihadi groups, the groups which have been involved in mayhem and, and a series of explosions and who want to impose their twisted ideology of Islam on Pakistan and the rest of the world, they are being afforded full support from Pakistani military establishment. And uh, there are many groups who uh, among them who are actually banned, they are called banned outfits, who are being given a complete, um, who are being given complete freedom to run their election campaign, at the same time run their liberal and progressive uh, opponents. In the urban areas of Sin, we already know, uh, Muhajir people are being uh, systematically uh, marginalized, their political voice has been pretty much crushed and um, the military intelligence agencies are fully controlling the political landscape in, in the urban areas of Sindh. So in, in the background of this, any election on 25th of July will not be a free and fair and transparent election. It's very clear the results have been decided and the people of Pakistan have been disenfranchised. I urge the international community to look into this very carefully. This election result, if as it appears, it's not going to be free and fair. So this election result should be very carefully judged and scrutinized before being accepted. And if people of Pakistan are continue to be disenfranchised, it doesn't bode very well for the peace in the region. It may lead to uh, a number of issues, not inside in Pakistan, but also um, in the region. So again, my request would be to the international community to look into these practices, the unlawful practices of the ISI and Pakistani military establishment very clearly, put a stop to it and give people of Pakistan a fair environment to choose whichever party they want to vote for. Thank you.